Right. Next. Next one. Next one. After a bit of a break. Hopefully this is not the end. <laughs> you won't get too drunk after this. No, no, no. Oh, you might. This is a 48.5% alcohol by <laughs> volume. This is uh, part of the edition series like I was mentioning earlier. Right? Um, is this also the most expensive one of three? Nah. Yeah, slightly. Oh, okay. Slightly. But, but you know, it, it's, it's, it's something special because I would say... Um, it's part of the edition series mm. and it, uh, this is number five. Mm. We've had one, two, three, four. Um, just a very quick recap about the edition series. It's about all about collaborations and about masteries. Mm. Uh, edition number one was our mastery of wood. You notice I've talked a lot about wood. Huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Edition number two was Mastery of Taste. Mm. That was a collaboration with the Roca Brothers. Yes. Uh, edition number three was Mastery of Smell. Mm. Uh, that one we worked with uh, Roger Duff. Mm. He, he does uh, bespoke perfumes. He does scented candles. And oh, wow. He, he's a master okay. perfumer in the UK. Okay. Um, amazing, amazing man. Yeah. You can pick up like thousands of different smells with his nose. Um Edition number four was about structure mm. and it was tied in together with our new distillery when we launched it. Mm. And edition number five uh, is color. Ah, it's all okay. about color. So we worked with the Pantone Institute, mm. uh, Color Institute, Pantone Color Institute. These are the people who actually create those color swatches that you have when you want to paint your mm. houses, houses or yeah. different colors, you know, the, like the five, color six palettes. different color palettes and mm. all that. Um, and we worked with them and they created this. If you notice the, 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 the bottle, the label is purple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is the Macallan edition purple. Mm. It even has its own Pantone code. Oh. So it's actually MAC001, just in case you want wow. to paint your room. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so their own color code. Yeah. Wow. Um, and why we talk about color is because I mentioned earlier on, Yeah. 100% of the color comes from, from the wood. wood. Yeah. yeah. So we do not add any colorings. Now, if you were to look at this, uh, what you would not guess is that this was made entirely with 100% American oak. Mm -hmm. So this was a case of a master whiskey maker pushing boundaries. Mm. So... Uh, she pushed the boundaries to, uh, and took the chance mm. to make this whiskey entirely using American oak. Oh, okay. So, remember my, my tie-in with food? Yeah. When you notice this, it's something we have early in the morning all the time. Coffee? Oh. There is a bit of a coffee taste right at the end, but this one leads with a little bit of kaya butter toast. Oh, you get that buttery, creamy with the kaya coconut. Yeah, definitely a bit like the buttery yeah. kind of feel. Yeah. So I find uh, you know that this one has your kaya butter toast. Mm. <laughs> Breakfast in a glass, why not, right? Um, and whiskey uh, and kaya yeah <laughs> so this this is 100% uh, American oak mm. uh, a lot of it uh, will be first fill because uh, they needed to get the right colour so when we're talking about first fill cast we're talking about cast that is, that's been used for the first time mm. and uh, it's like uh, to put things into perspective it's like a tea bag <laughs> so you use a tea bag for uh, the first time yeah right of course you're going to get the darkest Tea, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're using it, for correct. Water. And then sometimes yeah. you, yeah, don't waste up pour water, right? Yeah, yeah. They just keep topping up. Yeah, keep yeah. Topping yeah. Up water. So the then color it becomes lighter, and lighter. Ah, okay. So, so if you if you take that into perspective, okay. Same. Use the first fill cast. Yeah. Using a tea bag for the first time. Yeah. Then when we tip it out, after twelve, fifteen years, depending, hmm. uh, you tip it out and then you use it again. It's a second fill cast. Ah, okay. All right. And then after, if you tip it out and you want to use that cast again, if it's still in good condition, you want to use it again, it's called refill cast. Uh, so all of the the edition five will be all first? Uh, not all. Okay. Uh, majority. I think there's one that's a second. Ah, and okay. Either first or second, basically. No yeah. refill yeah. cast. Yeah. Ah, okay. So is that the, the risk that you're talking about? Is Well, yes. Uh, it is something that is different. 
ah, not okay. done before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whereas most whiskey, they just most use the, the same cast over and over. You no, know, that's that's uh, where we have a lot of European oak as well, European okay. cherry season cast. Okay. And a mix, you know. Yeah. It's something that McKellen is known for. It's yeah. our European cherry season oak cast. Yeah. And the whiskey that comes from it. So I, I mentioned earlier on that a lot of people love the cherry oak, 12 year old. Yeah. 18 year old, the 25, and, and that's something like a staple for them, you know. It's the, it's either that or nothing. Yeah. You know? So when we did something with uh, entirely American, yeah. Oh, it's it's something that's never been done. Yes. We've never done it. We, we don't know how it will turn out. We don't know how it will be received. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the boundaries that we pushed and the risk nice. that we took. Yeah. yeah. So this was bottled at 48.5% alcohol by volume. Okay. So it's a bit higher. Okay. Uh you may or may not be able <laughs> you may or may not be able to feel it, but, yeah. but uh this is something that's quite dangerous, but so let's so go good. for it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Definitely mm. a lot of spice. Um a lot of ginger, a lot of um uh, you're gonna have a lot of uh, vanilla mm. that's leading that nutmeg. You're gonna get like poached pe- uh, pear. Mm. You know when you push a pear, you flambe the pear. You're gonna have that a little bit of a freshness, a bit of that sweetness, mm. uh, a bit of that rounded uh, kind of flavor. Still feels like it's even though uh, it has more alcohol, doesn't mm. feel more. Like the first one was spicier mm. than, the, than this last exactly. one. Yeah. So so that that's what makes it so dangerous. It's forty eight point five, Yeah. Uh. yeah. So you, imagine you do you do get a sense of the alcohol once you're done, yeah. like once you've swallowed. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's interesting because I always related like spiciness to the alcohol uh, now, volume. As of today, you would realize that that's not, that's really, not the case. Not not really the case. Yeah. yeah. So so quite quite a quite a good I think uh, quite a good lineup to 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 kind of uh, introduce um, introduce you to the world of McAllen yeah. <laughs> even more <laughs> yeah 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 and then, and this is uh, limited yes Edition this is uh, so this is uh, limited I think there's about 255 255,000 bottles worldwide oh why so, 255 is that the no no it's just, just oh. the number of uh, casks that, that, that uh, we vetted for it I thought it. that would be the colour code for the no <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no 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 like just, just nice 255,000 <laughs> casks worldwide and once all these uh, bottles uh, sorry 255 bottles worldwide yeah um, shit I said something wrong so it's 255,000 bottles worldwide yeah. Yeah. Okay. Correct. <laughs> um, That's what you said before, right? You said I what? said before that I, I went casks. Then oh, casks. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Bottles. Missed everything up. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens when you drink armorte in the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> um, cask bottles, fine, cask everything. Bottles. <laughs> same, 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 same. same. Um, yeah. Once this is done, they're not going to replicate it. Ah. Okay. And then I suppose this will continue with a six. Well, we don't know yet. Uh, oh. We don't know what's going to happen just yet. No I may place know, or you can't say or... I may know, but maybe <laughs> I can't say. But, you know... <laughs> but, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to a possible new one. Mm. Uh, and see what, what they can come up with next. And but I suppose all 1 to 4 was all limited productions. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. So, uh, 1... As far as I know, 1 and 2 completely sold out, I think you might still be able to get three somewhere yeah. four as well yeah um, but mostly will be like, I guess resale already like, yeah. you're going to buy off people yeah so so the second hand market is uh, should be pretty crazy for this quite yeah. especially for edition number one because when it came out nobody paid any attention to it yeah and then when two and three came out people started start realizing minds and yeah. they can't get their hands so um, supply and demand price went up yeah. Um, I last heard that an edition number one went under the hammer for a thousand pounds. Wow. And wow, that's pretty good. Nice. And if you're talking about awesome. something that was retailing at about seventy pounds. Yeah. When it first came out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To which was a thousand pounds. Which was how many years ago when it came? Five years. 
2015. It's not too long as well. Yeah. yeah. In yeah, five, years. five years. Crazy. Yeah. You know, and I foresee this question coming up. So let yeah. me just answer it. Uh, yeah. Do you buy whiskeys to drink or to collect? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I've seen his stash. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, it's kind of both. Mm. Yes and no, kind of. You know. I don't think you collect to potentially sell, right? No, you just collect I, because. I call it because yeah, I, I, you like it. I like it. Yeah. yeah, I'm a big fan of the brand and yeah. the whiskey and all that. Some of them. Um, that's no right or wrong. Then again, you know, it is you you want to you want to collect. Mm. You have that money. You want to invest in a good bottle of uh, vintage Scotch whiskey that you will never drink. Then mm. hey. Mm. Your call, yeah. But but, but um, I believe very much in if you're gonna buy a whiskey and it's a good whiskey, just enjoy it. Gotta appreciate it, lah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you're gonna stare at that bottle, mm. and then you're probably going to go to your grave, and mm. you're not gonna be able to bring that bottle with you. Mm. <laughs> and somebody else is going to benefit from that bottle. I'm like, that's hey, true. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what I kind of believe as well because in the end money is just money right money yeah. is just numbers I mean not that I'm trying to tell everybody to just splurge on everything <laughs> yeah. you see but uh, yeah but when you buy something like a like a Macallan like a like a something that's limited edition there's a story that comes behind it yeah it comes more like an art yeah. yeah an art piece you know better than some piece of art that you can't tell what it is <laughs> <laughs> look at this bottle Look at that card. Come yeah. on.